tell me about the phone calls you call and and what what do you say to the homeowners i say answer? say hello my name is jim rail i'm with rail construction um i see that you guys recently filled out filled out an online survey um mm -hmm. concerning your roof and i'm just calling in response to that and then you know we go from there and then what do you tell them you you kind of do you ask them any questions over the phone to sort of further qualify them even um, more than the ad does itself yeah i because um because for one thing we don't do metal anymore we used to do metal uh -huh. and um i got out of metal pretty much because i you have to have a specific crew for that and i no longer have that crew then it's just easier for us to do shingles. So anyway, I asked them if, if they're, if it's a metal roof or a shingle roof, um, you know, about how many squares it is. And then, um, then I just get their information. Uh, even though their information is already in the text messages, I just double check with it. I get their address, phone number, mm -hmm. um, you know, when's a good time to come out, you know, and then I set up a date to go look. Do you um, ever bring up anything about insurance restoration in in the in the phone call no um no because i i have done that in the past and unless they bring it up um the one guy the one lead i got from you um the guy that specifically it, he was after you know some sort of insurance claim and he made that clear but i ha i used to do that and it seemed like it scared a lot of people off because they don't understand the insurance process you know they think that it's going to raise their insurance premium and they don't believe me when i tell them you know oh no it's not you know they for some reason they think what they think so anyway i would prefer to not bring that up and i would prefer to go to their house and look and then say hey look there's a bunch of hail damage on your roof maybe we could file a claim you know mm -hmm. and see what happens and then they so, can say to you oh i don't want to do that it could raise my premium and you can say actually acts of yes. god blah, and blah, then blah. i'm in front of their face and they can mm -hmm. see me you know, they know I'm not some joker on the other end of the line. And um, yeah, I can say it to their face and then I can show them the pictures of the roof. You know what I'm saying? Like there's clear hail damage, you know, or whatever it is, or, you know, missing shingles or whatever. So, you know, I like to do it like that. I don't really like to bring it up um, right off the bat like that. Cool. So when you say so you say so you say to them, you want to schedule a time to come out and and. Yep. And what, what specifically do you say, you, you know, you want to schedule a time to come out and meet you, or do you say, I want to schedule a time to come out and I want to actually inspect your roof? Like what sort of well, thing? I try, I try to like play, like, um, I try to play like really friendly and, but, mm -hmm. but I, I am, I, you know, I am really friendly and I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to like meet people and stuff, but I try to, I don't try to sound really smart. If you know what I mean, I, I try to sound like maybe a friend. Mm -hmm. I say, well, you know, when's a good time I can come out and, you know, maybe have a look, you know, or whatever, something along those lines. But I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just try to not keep make myself sound too technical. You mm -hmm. know, if I say like, oh, well, when, you know, I would like to schedule a time to come out for an inspection and blah, 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 blah. It kind of sounds too technical. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, I don't know, to me, it does. You know, if yeah. somebody came off to me as like more friendly and like down to earth. I'd be more willing to see what they have to offer, you know? Yeah, that's interesting. And I, I think that's so true for psychological reasons. Like when you make it sound really technical and mm -hmm. smart, it mm -hmm. sounds expensive. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it's inevitably going to cost a ton of money. Right. But yep. if you say, let me just come out and take a look, that sounds like no big deal. I'm just going to come out and take a look. Worse, you know, like there's a decent chance I'll take a look and everything will be okay. And you won't necessarily need a whole new roof. And maybe it's just a little repair. And I'll tell you the truth about what you need. Yeah. And then when you get up there and you notice the damage, then you say, listen, I, I took a look at your roof and look at all these, look at all this hail damage. Yeah, you have. And you're missing shingles over here. And, you know, I, I always like to avoid the most invasive solutions, but like yeah. you, you could probably get a whole new roof paid for and then yep. down that rabbit hole. So that's really smart instinctually that you, that you do that. Mm -hmm.